Aries, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading for the end of January right through to the end of February 2023. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details. And I will also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Aries, this is your Twin Flame reading. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. The first pile is going to be your pile, so the second pile will be your person's pile, and the third pile will be the unified energy, okay? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Right now, they show me a child in the water. Um, so this can mean that there is some sort of childhood wounding that has been going on uh, or influencing this twin flame connection, but we will go deeper and find out. It could also be that there are children involved in this connection. Um, so they just show me a child, but the child is looking towards the sun. So I feel this is about awakening to childhood uh, experiences that are perhaps influence the way that a person has... Um, looked at love shall we say it's almost like the foundations of love uh we will go deeper um as we go forward and see uh what that is all about of course thank you so much spirit guys good angels can you please guide my beautiful aries what do they need to know can you please guide them for their highest good okay uh yeah so the energy that i'm getting regarding the child is that there is an awakening about um either an influence that either you or your twin has witnessed or seen that has changed the way you look at love it's about the foundation of love okay uh yeah the full card is showing up full card is about childhood wounding so uh when it comes to twin flame connections it's about releasing yourself from that by processing um and healing so uh, let us see what is going on with the details. Now, you may have felt that your twin flame connection has been a little bit strained recently uh, because uh, we do have uh, Mercury and Mars direct now, but they were retrograde for some time. Uh, now you should uh, be opening yourself up to uh, communication with your twin. Uh, this is a time when your person normally takes action. So let us see what is happening for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Green Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Also, this reading is good for the next four or five weeks in terms of energy. It'll take you right up until the end of February. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Green Angels. Oh, okay. Very explosive energy. I just got to go get that card. One moment, please. This is your card. Okay, so interesting. You have two Scorpio cards right at the end. Uh, we've got the Death card and the uh, King of Cups. So uh, either you have Scorpio placements, my beautiful Aries, or you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Doesn't mean um, that um, you're dealing with someone who has those placements, though, because it can mean that you're changing the way that you love because of this experience. Now, please make sure you're in a twin flame connection. Um, some people, they're not aware that they're in a false flame. It is a very similar energy. But if anyone is narcissistic, uh, emotionally, physically, mentally abusive or manipulative, that is not a twin flame connection. I want you to be aware of that because you can waste lots and lots of years uh, on that wrong connection. So, um, and it kind of emulates a twin flame connection. So just make sure um, that you're in one. 
when you meet your twin it is magnetic think of the magnets I always say this please fast forward this bit if you've heard it before there are some people who come to the readings new and they don't know what a twin flame connection is I will get around to doing a twin flame video versus a false flame eventually when I've got time but unfortunately I've had a lot of family um, responsibilities shall we say at the moment so I haven't had time now the magnets they are identical in polarity okay so both have the same frequency they attract each other but they also repel each other there is a space in between because you're so alike in your energy you trigger each other um, you trigger wounding that has gone on before so twin flames they it's like meeting your twin and they show you a mirror of all the things within yourself that needs awakening needs processing healing so it's um, it's really a catalytic relationship where um, it encourages both parties to spiritually wear separately there is always a twin flame separation there's a chaser a runner and a separation period it is a very difficult relationship to navigate I don't encourage anyone to wait for their twin because in divine timing you and your person will spiritually evolve separately and come together when the universe orchestrates the right moment okay uh, twin flames are meant to um, influence you in a way to find your true calling your true life's purpose and spiritually evolve look at the things that have been triggered and process them so uh, we tend to blame our twin for uh, the way things go in the relationship but it's actually an important lesson in learning value how to love yourself more create healthier boundaries and it actually stems out throughout the rest of your relationship um, the chaser as soon as they've stopped chasing or focusing on their twin and start focusing on their true purpose they change the frequency it is a catalyst for change and your twin is encouraged to spiritually evolve and change their frequency so you can both come together in a match again it is difficult now your first card there is the man I also want to say I'm not here to take anyone's side in this relationship I'm here to understand both sides as um, diplomatically as possible shall we say so that I can navigate an outcome or tell you what the outcome will be based on the energy I've got in this present moment um, now the man male or female not a gender specific reading it's about action okay and right now uh, you're in this kind of like energy of should I stay or should I go your overarching energy indicates you know something needs to be done okay and you've also got the two of wands there so I feel like you're really like pausing as well you're, you're waiting for results shall we say you're waiting for this person to show you um, rather it's like actions speaking louder than words you're you're waiting for this person to show you but I feel like you've waited a long time because the two of wands is present and I feel there's this question mark that you've got over your person's head like what are you waiting for because both of you know that you've met your twin okay um, now these readings are for twins who are currently in separation when you get the man card this is about movement okay you needing to make some changes and the man in the Lenormand deck typically wears a hat because there is a knowingness on the crown chakra so I feel you and your person you do know that you've met each other but there's a stagnancy nothing's happening right now everything's grounded to a halt it's at a stalemate energy um, because we've got number 28 there 2 plus 8 is 10 I feel you're on the brink of leaving this connection behind I feel like you've t really withdrawn from this even though your overarching energy you want to do something about it you may feel that like you want to fix it okay I'm getting the sense that uh, perhaps you tried to do everything you could to try and fix this connection and you may have found yourself my beautiful Aries based on experiences that you've had in your past so I you know twin flames they tend to have had a similar traumatic journey in life doesn't always have to be the same but they've got similar um, experiences that create um, a trauma bond okay so based on yours my beautiful Aries you may have found that in a family unit or whenever you were growing up with guardians or parents you may have felt that you were the fixer okay so I'm getting the sense of a fixer someone who is always there making sure everybody's okay you feel a lot of responsibility on your shoulders and this also carries out in your love relationships especially when there's some sort of experience from childhood where you feel responsible it's uh, being in that fight or flight mode never knowing when 
things are going to get volatile or be um, stable. So I feel like you're always on edge. Now, this doesn't have to stem 100% from childhood for you. I feel like it does for your person, but I feel, um, and I'm going to pull a card on it for you. I feel there's something in your um, experience where you felt you must protect. You must protect those that you love. I mean, everybody's got that instinctual protection energy, but I feel like there's this overgiving energy about you. Uh, I'm just going to see where that's stemming from. Th thanks so much, Spirit Guides, Spirit Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? Um, I do feel like you're trying to focus on yourself at this time. Yeah, the Nine of Wands in the reverse, the Wounded Warrior, uh, Ten of Pentacles. So this can indicate that either you witnessed parents divorcing and it was a very bitter, bitter divorce or a very difficult uh, emotional time. It can also mean that there's family. I mean, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse means there's some sort of family problem or um, dynamics that are very difficult to navigate when you were younger. Okay, It'd be conflict. And of course, the Nine of Wands in the reverse is like, it may have affected you where you feel defensive all the time, always willing to, you know, put yourself out on a limb to make sure everybody else is okay. And sometimes at detriment to yourself. Okay. You may have felt also a little bit lonely or you feel a little bit um, abandoned by this connection and it has triggered things from when you were growing up. Okay. That's what I'm picking up. I'm just going to go one more. Magician in the reverse and Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Magician in the reverse indicates a, a very scattered energy. Um, this may, I get the sense that it's like you feel you have unfulfilled potential with your person, uh, your twin, but they wasted time. So I feel deep down, you don't want to walk away from this union. You actually wanted to settle down with this person. Uh, I feel a high level commitment relationship. Queen of Pentacles, um, there's an energy here of the home space. You may have launched yourself into work because you felt like you could not focus or you're trying not to focus on your twin um, or you launch yourself into projects. Uh, I'm getting a sense of DIY as well. So either you are doing some DIY, my beautiful Aries, or you're restructuring, uh, maybe even decluttering your home space. They're actually showing me a screwdriver in the water right now i mean i mean that could spiritually also mean the fixer someone who fixes things or you always feel very self-reliant um or it could be that you're actually doing diy right now uh, or it can be you're securing things because the queen of pentacles is a desire for security being very discerning about your heart and moving forward because i get the sense that you are changing the way that you love based on this experience with your twin but it's actually rooted in something before you even met your twin Twins tend to trigger the energy that has gone before. Remember the cup of love? I always talk about it. The cup of love is for yourself first. And if you've got uh, trust issues, insecurities, codependency, um, addictions, self-loathing, things like that in that cup of love, you tend to meet your twin in a similar frequency. So you exchange cups and you're drinking basically from their experiences and vice versa and you're triggering each other. In different ways, of course, but they manifest and cause the separation. The separation is to learn to value and create healthier boundaries and also process any painful experiences that have gone before. Um, so we do have the Cosmos card here. Now, the Cosmos card really does connect to um, this otherworldly bond that you have with this person. You know that this person is your fate, your destiny. OK, but I also feel that you have completed some cycle that you were meant to learn. You are valuing yourself. I feel like you've really stepped up. You've created those boundaries. You're empowering yourself. And I feel you you realize that there's still a window of opportunity that this person could actually come back on in and try to heal things. But you're not making the effort. You're not doing it. This person needs to show you actions and not words, because I feel like this person they may say one thing and they mean it, but they're just not capable of following through on it. This person that you're dealing with emotionally unavoidable, uh, emotionally avoidant. OK, so this person, uh, we will get into your person's energy in a moment, but I do feel like time is ticking with this. And I feel you feel the time right now is to withdraw and focus on yourself. Uh, again, I get the sense that you didn't want to walk away, but I feel like you're having to walk away. I feel 
part of you is like, you're done. You're exhausted by this. Uh, we've also got the two of wands here, which indicates you're not making any moves towards this person. You're waiting for results. But I also feel like you're trying to weigh up your options. Two of wands indicates you're restless about um, the future because there's still a yearning for this person. And I feel like you're trying to be strict with yourself and say, no, I'm not going to reach out. Um, with these two cards together, I do feel like you realize that there is a divine plan going on behind the scenes because you can't stop thinking about this person or everything seems to remind you of this person and the signs or the omens that come your way point to this person being your twin. So you're really questioning how is it that this has occurred so far, but it's twin flame energy. The universe will bring you back together when the time is right. What is meant for you will never pass you by. It's so important that we realize this as twins, okay? Now, I don't know where it's coming up, but it comes up occasionally. Uh, they want me to talk about my twin. When I first met my twin, I had just come out of a very damaging breakup, okay? I lost pretty much everything. And then I met my twin. And because of the damage that previous experiences had done to my confidence, um, my sense of uh, self, my ego, I was really going through a major ego death, um, I actually pushed my twin away. I said, you know, things that were harmed the relationship, like, you know, don't think this is going anywhere. This is only I'm living in the moment. I don't want anything long term. You know, you don't mean anything. All of those things, even deep down, I wanted to scream, I love you. I want to be with you. I, 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 I've I, never known an unconditional love like it, but still I did not trust it based on what I experienced before. Past situations can have a very powerful influence on a person in the moment, especially when it comes to twins, because you're opening yourself up to that level of vulnerability. You're about to take a leap of faith. You know that the relationship is otherworldly, that there is a bond like no other. And the twins that tend to be the runner, I was the runner, of course, in that case at first, uh, there is a fear, avoidance, denial, even though it's like deep down, you know, you talk yourself out of it because you don't want to be hurt anymore. And there's a fear that there could be a, um, it's almost like you bring baggage from past situations into the twin flame connection. Uh, so I just want to give that because I feel this is something that your person has experienced, but I feel theirs stems from childhood, okay? They may have witnessed some sort of divorce or because they're holding on to something that has prevented them from really allowing you to get in too deep. As soon as they, you get close to this person, as soon as both of you get so close, this person like puts the brakes on and pushes you away. And I feel like you're fed up with that. You, you, you're in a cycle where you're like, I can't do this anymore, okay? So I really feel like you're withdrawing. You're thinking about your options. Yes, you're yearning, but I feel like you're observing the way that this person, um, you know, approaches you. Uh, also, we've got the um, Empress energy. So you're really focusing on uh, nourishing yourself, spiritually evolving, building those healthier boundaries. And the Empress card is a card of security. OK, of comfort, of living a life of prosperity, being very productive, focusing on the things that make you happy. You're trying to find your true north. Some of you may even feel uh, more creative than usual because the twin flame connection, when there is a separation, it launches you to really express yourself artistically. And um, you could find yourself picking up new hobbies or things that actually help you explore your inner psyche. So art, pottery, sport, it doesn't, it can be anything that you feel like you're expressing yourself or moving your body to get the energy out. Now, some of you may have children with this person or you may have children in general. So you're focusing on uh, you know, yourself, but also on your family unit. And a lot of you, I'm getting a real sense that some of you are thinking that you're maturing now. You're getting older and wiser and you can't do this anymore. You don't want to waste any more time. OK, I always say don't wait for your twin because they will spiritually evolve when they feel they are meant to. As soon as you take your attention off your runner twin, that's when you're encouraging them to step up. They've got a tower energy here. So they're about to have a major awakening. OK, uh, they're about to liberate themselves from this stagnant uh, position that they tend to be in at the moment. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? What do they need to know? The Devil card. 
Now, the Devil card uh, is showing up for you. So either you're dealing with a Capricorn energy or I feel like you are trying to resist temptation because there is a push and pull. You want to reach out to this person, but at the same time, you're valuing yourself too much to want to connect to this person at this time. You know that there is a bond here and some of you may be questioning whether it is false flame. Some of you may be questioning whether this person is toxic. There may have even, when you first met this person, both of you may have been going through a cycle of um, you know, drinking or addiction, or it doesn't have to be that. I mean, there could be a lot of lust here. Both of you may have been thinking, you know what, I'm not going to settle down. This is just something that's going to be really fun and exciting. And then you both realize that actually there's a deeper bond going here. The Devil card is not an evil card. It is a card that highlights where you may feel stuck because it is a natural, it's almost like a brick wall. What is it that you feel difficult to overcome? It could be trust issues. Uh, it could be fear itself. Uh, I feel there's a part of you here where you're like, how can I trust that this person is ever going to change the cycle? Because so far they've not shown you. You got three of wands waiting. You're not giving. Okay, so I get the sense more than anything from this card that it's like you may be tempted occasionally to reach out to this person, but the three of wands, you're definitely saying, I'm holding myself back. I'm not going to do it. And also three of wands is a card of wondering if there are other options available to you is there anyone else out there um, if you're looking for a high level commitment and security now the answer of course is yes if you want somebody new you can always go for a soulmate uh, I will be doing a singles reading in the next couple of days, uh, so look out for that. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles indicates you're holding yourself back. You're not giving to this. You're not even making any effort uh, to this at this time because you've made all the effort. You love this person. Uh, you gave your whole heart, your soul. You created a really safe space for this person to be themselves. And that's what hurts the most because you allow this person to be themselves unconditionally and they took advantage of your kindness. But I feel more than anything, this person got really scared about opening up in general because I get a sense that this person has some self-loathing going on. And if they feel like they're going to really show themselves and really be seen, they feel a certain level where they think that they are unlovable. This is something that is stemmed from childhood. So they feel that when they expose that level of self to you, that you may walk away. And I know that sounds counterproductive to the twin flame connection, but when people fear um, being known truly in a very intimate sense, and they do not want to be hurt, they're in a protective or avoidant state, they tend to push the person they truly love away because they feel it's better to keep that person away than for them to find out and abandon so they remain in in control of their emotions. And I really get a sense that your person tries to hold on to that level of control. They bottle it all in. This person bottles everything up and they may even numb their pain occasionally. Uh, that's what I'm picking up there. Now, again, I'm not here to give anyone an excuse. I'm here to understand so that I can see an outcome. Your person is in the tower energy. Now, the tower energy is, you know, this aloof kind of energy, this... Uh, you know, very private person. And sometimes when people are private and they keep themselves to themselves, it creates an air of mystery. And then think, people start to suspect or start to build a narrative because there are certain parts of this person that are very off limits. And if they're off limits, then there must be a reason. And the reason may be that you think that this person's hiding something. I really feel like this person's not hiding anything. I feel like this person has had a very difficult uh, life growing up and they feel very isolated. They keep themselves that way because this is a card of restrictions. This is a card of control. It's a card of ego. This person has yet to have their ego death. We all have one. Uh, it's a very painful experience. I feel like you have had one uh, where you feel your sense of self is lost. They're giving me, whoa, thanks so much. I'm truly grateful. They're showing me a book in the water. And the title is actually called Lost at Sea. Lost at Sea. I'm trying to see if it'll come a little bit closer so I can see who it's by. Lost at Sea. Lost at Sea. It's a very colorful book, Lost at Sea. Uh, okay. Uh, I want to say Ronson. 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 R. Oh, I think it's an O. It may be an A. It's really cloudy. Uh, R. 
O N S O N, I think. Um, now, I don't really know what that book's about, Lost at Sea. I mean, it could be about someone being at sea and being lost, of course. It could also be someone emotionally bereft. Um, maybe this is something that your, your person is reading. They may tell you about that or something that you've been reading. It may be a book that this person lent you. It could even be a book where you walk into a store, say next week, my beautiful Aries, and on the shelf is a book called Lost at Sea. You will know that this person is going to reach out, okay? Now I have to see when this person is going to reach out to you because right now I'm getting a sense that they are maturing. They're learning to love themselves. The Three of Swords indicates um, that there's still uh, some sort of emotional difficulty that they are having to overcome, but they know that you are their true north. They know that you are their fate. The tower indicates that they are liberating themselves from something, from something that they feel very stuck in. Okay, because the, the tower energy is like a prison. They've gone round and round and round in circles, okay? And um, it's it's time to liberate themselves. So I do feel like this person will have a sudden change. Now I get, they're giving me a word, estrangement, estrangement. Now to be estranged from someone can be, now either this person was in a high level commitment before, uh, maybe even married before, uh, doesn't have to be, it could also be something they witnessed in childhood regarding their family. So they may have had a parent or guardian that was estranged from the family uh, in some way. And this has really knocked this person for six. Um, they, they feel abandoned. There's abandonment issue here. Again, I'm not here to take sides. I'm just getting a sense that this person, they want to liberate themselves. The tower energy in this card, the Lenormand deck, it's number 19, which is the sun card, which really indicates that this person is having a moment of clarity, of truth, and an awakening. Okay, so they are going through personal growth at this time. They're becoming aware of what has kept them stuck, what they've been holding on to. They're in double four mode. It's really interesting because I just did a an Aquarius reading and their person was in double three mode. Uh, so double four mode, which means this person is looking at stability and the foundations of what they experienced when they were younger and why and how it has influenced the way they operate in love, why they keep people at arm's length. Okay, this person's very independent, uh, very self-sufficient from a young age. But this person, Ten of Swords, I feel like this person has had a very painful ending in something and uh, they've made a choice. They feel that love ends in pain based on their experiences. This person knows that you are their twin. And I do feel there is a part of them that is very devastated that this is currently in separation. Um, I feel this person is obsessed you, with you in some way, my beautiful Aries. I feel there's like a lot of passion. This person is addicted to you, is the energy that I'm picking up. But there's a lot of fear here, okay? Uh, Ten of Swords, this person feels like if you really got to know them, as you can see, those two figures there, they're naked. So they're vulnerable, they're open, there's nothing to hide, there's raw vulnerability. And the Ten of Swords is like, they feel that you would choose to end it or that it would be very painful if you saw the true them. So there's something from this person's past where they feel, um, they would feel too exposed to share it with you at this time. Because remember, if a person does not love themselves because of a challenging situation in their past, they're not capable of loving you. The cup of love starts with the self first. If this person is not capable of facing the fears or the experience they had in order to process it, they're not capable of sharing it with you at this time either. So it's, it's I mean, we can never judge another person because we've never worked, you know, walked their journey or experienced, but we can try and understand. And I feel like this person really connects love to pain. So I do feel this person, they know they love you. I mean, look, underneath the tower, number 19, is the number six. This person wants love. Six is the lover's card. They, they know that they've met their twin when they met you. And it, it's kept them feeling very, very stuck. They don't want to lose you. But at the same time, there's something here they need to face before they can actually change their frequency and come to you in the right energy. Okay. Now, the full card, whenever you see the tower, there's normally two figures leaping 
taking a leap of faith into the unknown. And this person is going to open themselves up to that. The full card though, when you get it in a twin flame connection reading, it tends to mean someone has got some past experience or baggage uh, that has come from childhood. Um, that is, um, you, okay, this is something that they're giving me right now. Obviously I can't prove this, but because I'm not a psychologist or counselor, but they're giving me when a person um, experiences something traumatic, they tend to, it's almost like that age that they are is marked forever, okay? Um, so it's like, I feel from a young age, this person has been, had an experience that was very traumatic and I feel ever since then they've protected themselves. I'm going to pull a card on that. It's almost like self-reliant. This person's like, I don't need anybody. I don't want anybody because if I connect to somebody, I'm going to lose. I'm going to feel pain. And they felt this from a young age and they never want to feel it again. Okay. Um, what they're showing me in the water is when they were younger, they saw the death of a relationship, the death of a relationship. So either that means this person experienced loss as in a parent or guardian transitioned when they were young. Or it could be that there was divorce or um, some sort of dysfunctional conflict in the energies. This person just takes care of themselves. Okay, let me just pull a card on this full card. Thank you so much. Ten of Wands, a lot of baggage, the Empress card in the reverse. So they may have had an absent uh, mother or they may have lost their mother uh, when they were younger. The Empress card is, I mean, it could even be a grandmother. Um, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy, but I feel there was a maternal or a, a feminine energy that was lost from a very young age. It could be an older sibling even for this person, but there's some sort of, um, it could be that there was a divorce and they went to live with the masculine energy of the partnership. It doesn't have to be, but I just get the sense that there is loss. And this is baggage that this person's been carrying around. So they've disconnected. Uh, when you get the Empress in the reverse, it means that this person, you know, they've not been, they've been neglecting their own needs when it comes to love. Um, and they've also uh, felt that love, security, sensuality, you know, comfort, they don't want to get comfortable because to get connected on a deep level to someone means that eventually they will lose that person and they don't want that hanging around their neck is what I'm getting here, okay? So Ten of Wands, um, I feel like this person has had to be very strong from a very young age because the Ten of Wands indicates a level of stress and a level of exhaustion where this person had a lot of responsibilities when they were younger and when they got older, they're like, I don't want any more responsibility. Okay, um, the Four of Swords is an energy of being in a solitary energy. They don't want to connect. Uh, this person is healing still from this experience. Now, this card is uh, an energy of finding clarity, having moments to think. And in this clarity, this person is becoming aware that number one, they need to take care of themselves and their heart and the way that they allow a past narrative to govern their current present energy okay so this person is realizing as because I feel like this person is doing a lot of thinking and they're thinking about all the things that they hold on to from the past and how they have had a desire for security but they've actually self-sabotaged that when they've found security they've allowed their fears to override the situation and you know it's almost like I'm getting the sense of like an ejector seat like they jump launch themselves out of the relationship. When things get too deep, this person, they're gone. Um, also, the Four of Pentacles indicates that deep down, they do want security. Deep down, they want to hold someone. I feel they know that you are their twin and they want to hold you. Uh, they're holding on to the way things ended as well is what I'm seeing here. I'm going to pull another card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide? my beautiful Aries. I get a sense that this person, it's from the foundations, very, very beginning. And they may have become very ambitious to focus only on a career path or on projects um, that take them out of their head. Uh, hangman, wait, Ace of Swords. Okay. 
Um, so hangman indicates the weight, of course, but these it indicates that this person is downloading new knowledge. This is a card of you know flipping their perspective. I really feel this person's world was turned upside down when they were younger, and I feel this person is coming to an understanding of how they haven't even talked about it and how they've made poor judgments based on what they've experienced. This person, there's a lot of hidden stress here as well. I'm just going to go, for, can you show me how they're moving on? They're healing, Three of Swords, it's in the reverse, okay? They've got the Three of Swords here, so in their maturity, they're looking at their pain. Sometimes uh, humans, in general, can be bonded to their past narrative or bonded to their own personal story, where they feel like they cannot get out of it. They feel um, there's a lot of hardship there, and they do a lot of questioning, and some people are really good at processing, releasing, and maturing, and letting it go. And other people, not so much. Other people may find it difficult. And some people bury it right down and don't allow it to surface. And when it is the most important moment, like meeting a twin flame, that's when everything surfaces all at once and the person feels overwhelmed. With the Three of Swords, I feel your person wants to make amends. I feel like this person is feeling very restless. I feel this person wants to have peace, peace of mind. And I feel this person, I get a sense this person actually wants to physically apologize to you. Um, but this person has been dealing with some sort of loss that they've not told you about. Okay, again, not here to give an excuse. Um, the last pile is, you know, your unified energy, but... Um, there's two piles in it basically. One is your person's, we flip the energy, and the other is yours. Uh, in between you both is a mountain. Okay, so that's the separation, the difficulty. Um, we've got the woman here. So this person, again, uh, male or female, this is not a gender specific reading, but this person is dealing with some pain that has been connected to a feminine energy in their life. And I feel. This person, they want to start again. They want to be open to love. They want to settle down. When you get the feminine energy in the Lenormand deck, this is about love. It's about being re receptive to opening up to love, nourishing, and softening in their energy. Um, also, you know, the figures, I mean, we've got the man and the woman. Again, it's not gender specific. It represents the yin and yang of a connection, okay? So I feel we've got... A match here where you and your person are coming into a frequency that will match it's number 11 when you reduce it 2 plus 9 is 11 this person knows that you are their twin but there is a mountain to climb between you both okay you can overcome the obstacle there is difficulties ahead okay the, t the, the mountain represents you know a resistance a struggle there are blockages but I feel you and this person um, you can heal this. We've got a star energy here and your person has got the emperor. So, and you've got the empress. So again, the dynamics of the energies are flipped. We've got an emperor and a, an empress here. Okay. So divine counterparts, you can heal. You're maturing and healing as you go. But, you know, number 21 indicates right now you've stepped away. But it's forcing or encouraging your person to learn a lesson. And that lesson is about their deep-rooted pain and how it has influenced the connection to uh, be at a stagnant position. The emperor, your person, is maturing. They're thinking about the future. They do want to settle down. And I feel this person will take action because this is a card of leadership. I do feel this person has been very restricted in their emotions. They do push those emotions down. But I feel that there is a lot of love here. And I feel like this person is in thinking mode, thinking about the right words to say to you, thinking about how to uh, approach you. We've got the three of swords, but they want to talk about the root cause. Um, I also feel this person is thinking about something that they said to you that was very upsetting or painful. I feel like this person regrets their words is what they're giving me. They regret their words. Uh, three of swords, swords are all about communication or the mind, ideas. And I feel this person's words cut you deep, my beautiful Aries, whatever it was that they did in order to keep you at arm's length. This person will want to talk about that. 
okay? Um, let me see. Okay. Uh, before I pull a card on that, they're just giving me a sense that someone forgot their cell phone. Okay, so your person may message you and say they forgot their cell phone, but I mean, how would they be messaging you from that? I don't understand. Or maybe you're watching this on a laptop or your screen or something like that, and you forgot your, your cell phone today. There's something about forgetting a cell phone. That's going to obviously be very precise, so I'll move on from that energy. How would you like to receive? Will of Fortune in the reverse, King of Pentacles in the reverse. So this indicates that this person, um, they're still processing and maturing. They're going through an awakening. They're not giving to this connection at this time. This person is still a little bit chaotic. They're feeling a bit stuck in a rut. And the King of Pentacles indicates that this person, they're not ready to follow through at this moment in time. They know that you are their destiny. Interesting that the Wheel of Fortune is showing up twice. I'm just going to pull a card and see after February or at some point in February is there communication. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Two, wow, we've got two people waiting. Two of Wands. Okay, so stagnant. It's like you're watching them, they're watching you, or you're waiting for them and they're... I don't feel like this person is waiting for you. I really get a sense that this person is um, kind of waiting to... Um, it's like they're planning for the future they're mapping their progress they're trusting in the unknown and they're doing some healing i feel like this person is aligning themselves with um what they truly want they're really getting focused on what their future holds but in that i feel I'll just leave that there because i'm just going to clarify it in that i feel like they're not really coming to you just yet because they feel it would be unfair to reach out when they're only halfway there shall we say high priestess yeah not talking okay high priestess in the reverse is repression repressing emotions or dealing with it repressed emotions i feel like this person you know is still dealing with loss whenever you get uh, the high priestess in reverse it connects to loss okay uh, or a secret loss or something that they're going through that is off limits at this time um we'll just go one more ace of pentacles when they deal with that then they will come forward ace of pentacles indicates they do want to invest in the connection uh, they may tell you about a new job as well at some point um can you give me an idea of dates times when this person will reach out well it it's the same message when they've dealt with the loss five of cups is they are dealing with loss they are grieving something uh, they regret their actions but there's abandonment issues or there, there's something here that um, they have to process before they can truly see that unconditional love is available for them okay now I always say that I mean I can't orchestrate the cards they're coming out they're giving me the energy in the water at the same time as giving me the cards um, so I can only give you the cards that, that come out of course they will reach out but right now um, I feel communication I mean, if you get a little bit of communication, I feel like they're not going to go into depth at this time. I do get a sense that round about Valentine's Day, they may drop you a message. Okay, um, let me just see that. But it's not deep. It's not a deep message. Okay, can you show me the Valentine's energy that I'm picking up right now? King of Wands in the reverse. Now this... It may be a very flirty message, okay, because the king of wands in the reverse basically means not ready. Someone who is um, fantasizing about you, but, ooh, okay. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. I mean, look, you're, you're getting the same cards again. Uh, two of wands is to wait, to observe, to process, and the high priestess in the reverse is the loss um, something that they've been repressing for such a long time. And then King of Pentacles. Then we've got them coming through. Then we've got them, you know, uh, wanting to settle down, wanting to make good on the union. Um, so, again, it's the same thing. But they, I mean, it doesn't help you in this moment, my beautiful Aries, but they know that you are their destiny. But I feel... I literally feel like they are lost at sea at the moment. And the sea in Tarot and uh, spiritual um, areas, shall we say, um, 
it tends to be about emotions. So this person is very lost in their emotions. Uh, we do have owls for you. Now owls is a, you know, it's a card in the Lenormand deck that represents um, restlessness, um, needing to talk, a discussion, verbal communication, anxious energy. So you may be, you know, compelled to want a conversation with this person, but I do feel like you're holding yourself back or you're, re you're repressing yourself. So I get this energy that both of you are at a stalemate position, but for different reasons, okay? You may even talk to your friends about this person. You will receive a message, but it's not the message you want, okay? Uh, so I have to like give it to you clear on what I'm feeling here. Um, I feel like you're getting like an overall view of this connection. And owls are very wise. You are the more spiritually aware party in this connection. Wise old owls, they see everything, but they say nothing. So I really get this sense that you are not going to open yourself up to a communication until this person actually comes towards you because you're doing you at this time. You also are focusing on yourself. This is, um, you know, your healing, this star energy. Um, they're actually showing me a flame entwined right now. So, I mean, the flame entwined can also represent twin flame energy. So you're getting more clarity on the twin flame connection. I feel like the more you're aware of what the dynamics are of a twin flame connection, then the better uh, armed you are, shall we say, with a decision making. It's almost like the more you know about it, the more wisdom you have about it, the more you can make a clear decision about what it is you're going to do about it, okay? The star energy also is a card of uh, trust, making wishes, but you're really thinking about the future because this is a card that is far-sighted. It's like it looks into the future. So I feel like you're looking at the mountains. You know, the mountains are there behind that figure. So I feel like you're assessing or seeing the difficult journey that it will take to be with your twin. And you get to decide whether you take that journey. We all have free will, so it's totally up to you, my beautiful Aries. If you want to be with your twin, you absolutely can. There is healing here. Um, and But I, f I do feel like you are changing the way that you love. Okay? You're building a healthier boundary. The chariot... You know, before I came to your reading, I do a little meditation. Okay? And they would give me the chariot card. They kept giving me the chariot card. And they've just shown it to me again in the water. That's why I've said the chariot, even though it's the death card. So the chariot card... What I'm giving, what I'm really getting though, is that you will see a symbol of a chariot. It's not the, I mean, you may find a chariot card somewhere, um, but I feel like you're going to see something that is connected to chariots. It could be a uh, graffiti. It could be on a, you know, billboard. It could be on a book cover. It could be, you know, someone sends you a picture of a chariot. Uh, I mean, chariots they do represent moving forward, overcoming obstacles, action, and change. And you've got all those cards there where you're making changes. Or some of you could be also going on a journey uh, or even buying a new car. But a chariot is going to be important for you. Uh, just before the chariot, they show me a flame. So, so maybe you or your person has got a, a tattoo of a flame entwined or you see that as an image. These symbols and signs, they mean, mean nothing to you in this moment. But in the next four or five weeks, you see one of those, it's a symbol that your person is changing their frequency and is going to reach out. So remember, the communication you get at first is not the one you want. Okay, you may feel like, excuse me, maybe in, in a very flirty message that they send you and you're like, that's not good enough. Come to me right or don't come to me at all. Okay, um, the, I want to see the chariot card again. This is so crazy. I just want to see the chariot again. This is the death card, and this is about releasing a pattern. I feel like you are breaking an old cycle or a habit that you have with this person because you want to do something differently. If you always do what you always did, you're always going to get what you always got, and you know that something needs to change. So you are being the catalyst for change. I feel like you're opening yourself up to a new life. I feel like you're releasing things that hinder you, the baggage. I feel a lot of you are trying to close the door to this twin flame connection because you're exhausted, you've had enough. And I do feel that things have been stagnant for too long, that you're trying to open yourself up to a new beginning. I do feel that, um, I get this sense that, 
can I put that? Harbinger of change is what I'm getting, but I'm getting something more than that. This I really want to pinpoint this energy and I can't. I'll always be honest. If I can't pinpoint the energy they're trying to give me. Okay. Because I don't feel like you're, let me just pull a card and see if they give me something more on that. Knight of Pentacles. You're not over giving. That's the, that's the, you're, you're not making as much of an effort in love in general as you did before. You're not going to be an over giver anymore. So you're building healthier boundaries. That's the energy that I was trying to pick up on, but did not. Okay. Um, the Knight of Pentacles indicates you are dealing with a very stubborn twin flame who is doing the spiritual work, but it's a slow moving process. And I feel like you feel you cannot wait anymore. You feel that this is not working. So if you, if your twin flame is not changing, I feel like you are forcing yourself to change. Okay. Um, now we also have the King of Cups there. So you're protecting your heart. King of Cups indicates you have so much love to give and you don't want to just be standing there with a full cup of love but with nobody to give it to. You wanted to be with your twin, but right now you feel like you cannot take that journey because nothing has changed. Everything is in a stagnant energy. So you're looking at um, processing and healing yourself so that you have a pure cup of love to give without any uh, baggage from the past. Um, I'm going to pull a card on this because I feel like you're using your intuition. You're becoming grounded in your emotions. I do feel you will open yourself up to new love if you're deciding to walk away from your twin and you will find someone who is um, very close to what you're looking for in a soulmate. Um, I just want to say that twin flame journeys, they are very difficult, but they are super rewarding when you and your twin reunite. But it is a slow moving process. OK, um, now I'm just going to tap into the energies that we've got here. Um, your person may have these placements in their chart, Aries, Libra, Taurus, um, Aquarius, Scorpio, and a little bit of Earth there as well. So a little bit of Virgo Capricorn perhaps as well coming through. Uh, King of Wands, your person will be ready. Your person will take action, but it takes you being that catalyst for change, stepping back to show this person that you've built healthier boundaries. Then they get to look at their turbulent emotions and they either process or they step away. But I feel like this person is processing things. OK, we've got a king of wands here, which means your discernment, your decision to make changes actually influences the way that your person comes good okay i mean you may also be dealing with someone who is strong aries in their chart as well so i'm just going to pull one more thank you so much spirit guides and angels knight of cups yeah so i feel like the influence is the knight of cups you're not giving love out to this person until such time as they make the right changes the necessary changes because i feel like you're being really realistic about this you're not having unrealistic expectations um, let me see if there's anything more before we close the reading. Anything more you'd like to give my beautiful Aries? Okay. So we have four of wands, five of swords in the reverse, knight of pentacles, page of swords in the reverse, and the ten of wands. Now the page of swords and the ten of wands is the grounding energy. It's the, the rooted energy at the bottom, which means this person, until they look at their baggage, OK, there will be no change. Um, the, the page of swords in the reverse pages and the full card tend to connect to uh, childhood wounding. So until this person really, um, you know, investigates their baggage and sets it down, processes it, then there will be no change. The four wands with the uh, five of swords in the reverse and the Knight of Pentacles indicates that there will be a reunion with you and your person. Four of Wands is a card to reunite, to come together and have a, a, it's like things come to a climax where there is a bit of a breakthrough. So 
This card indicates that you and this person will find a moment in the future if this person looks at their baggage, which I feel that's what they're doing right now. Uh, five of Swords in the reverse. Once they do that, they will no longer sabotage themselves. Um, five of Swords in the reverse is to, you know, find peace, peace of mind after difficulty, wanting to find a solution. And then we've got that Knight of Pentacles, which means then this person will make the effort. Okay, but it's they're not going to make the effort until they've looked at their baggage. Same message. So I'm just going to pull some final cards before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great needles. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? Okay. 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 Now, as you can see, I got one more card here just for clarity. Uh, but we've got shell and gift. Now, as you can see, the gift is like an offer. So this person is retreating into their shell until they feel ready to make that offer, until they uh, come forward. Uh, it's number 27. When you reduce it, 2 plus 7 is 9, of course, the hermit energy. So this person, hidden, aloof, deserted. Certain matters in this situation are not being communicated. We already covered that energy that came out there. This person, uh, there's something that they keep to themselves that they've buried I mean they may have hinted or they may have even told you and it's only like scratch the surface on this but there's something deeper that is attached to this we got number 24 when you reduce it two plus four is six the lover's card and it says here giving and receiving so this person will eventually get into a cycle of reciprocity affection offer tangible they feel like they cannot come to you until they can give you a tangible offer something that is real something that is not going to leave you standing so that's why it's taking some time and also we've got Number 52, when you reduce it, 2 plus uh, 5, of course, is number 7, the chariot card, interestingly enough. And it says here, beginnings, student optimism. This person is learning. I feel like they want to have a new beginning with you. And, you know, uh, there is growth here. There is positive growth. Now it says here, be tenacious when seeking out opportunities. Learning new skills can help you manifest your dreams and achieve your goals. You may even discover a new side of yourself along the way. As you can see, there's like a coin, a nugget of truth there being unearthed. So I feel this person is going to dig deep. And when they find the root cause, that's when they can make a solid offer in a relationship. Okay. But again, I always say, don't wait for a person. Focus on your true calling. That's what twin flame relationships are meant to promote. But I feel like we've lost that along the way. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Okay. And the trinkets that we got, yeah, we've got the turtle. So slow moving, but slow and steady can win that race. Also, you know, the turtle can retreat into the shell and you got the shell card here. Uh, so I feel this person retreats whenever they feel they're getting too close. Um, also, I feel you will hear that this person is either moving or you're moving. There's something about moving here. And we've also got the musical notes. Now this connects to raising vibrations. Okay, so your person is currently doing the work to raise those vibrations, to come in a frequency that matches you. But it can also mean uh, to add a little bit more music into your life, or maybe there's a musical connection between you and your person. Um, although they showed me the book Lost at Sea, I don't know if there's a song called Lost at Sea, so perhaps there's something about that. Um, but I feel, I mean, maybe even your person will reach out and send you a song. But these musical notes, um, they may be symbols that will show you um, that this person is changing. So I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, my beautiful Aries, and love and light.